Hello, and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. You join me tonight on another Tabletop Tuesday, and this evening we shall be playing the two to four player card game Lost Galaxy from Rudy Games. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the latest miniature painting and tabletop gaming videos. Also, don't miss the live Twitch channel weeknights Monday to Thursday from 7 o'clock BST. Click the link below. And now, on with the show. In a galaxy far away, a cosmic catastrophe is looming. Soon, the sun will turn into an all-devouring supernova. Who will be able to evacuate the largest number of planets and ensure the survival of their faction? So I have a fun little game to share with you this evening. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one because this is the first game that I've played of its type, which is a hybrid tabletop game. As you can see, it's Lost Galaxy, the intergalactic card game. Uh, this game uses a smart device to basically run the game for us. So not only does it time the length of the game, it throws up obstacles for us to overcome, but more importantly, it also teaches us how to play the game right from the offset. So as opposed to me teaching you, we're letting the technology do it instead. <laughs> the game is, in essence, a real-time game. What we will have to do is pause it slightly just to give you a few moments to tell me what you want to do, and then we'll start the timer again. Uh, of course, welcome Snowyak to the channel. Thank you very much for joining in tonight. Yeah, you're welcome. Right then. Um, so as I sort of explained right at the start, uh, the game pretty much is going to teach us how to play. I will read off, but you guys, of course, will be able to see on the screen. And it will teach us how to play. Uh, it will then throw in some additional uh, game elements for us to learn. And then it will start throwing some obstacles at us. And before we know it, the game will be over and we'll go on to a second round. Uh, it is very quick. Because it is a real-time game, I will pause the app to give Snow an opportunity to actually look at his cards, decide what he wants to do, reactivate the app, and Snow then, you are going to tell me what you want to do. Here we go then. So it's saying, faction selection. Each player selects a faction and places the corresponding card in front of themselves when these factions are removed. So what are the factions? We have the Syrians. Their game bonus is an additional card. So at the end of your turn, you refill to seven cards. The next faction is the Cyborgs. Evacuate from level three. You can evacuate level three and level four planets with a spaceship. Uh, the Broods. You get to steal a card. You may draw and discard a player's card after playing yours. And finally, the Mechs. Planetary Attack. You may remove a planet card from a playing field after playing your cards. So, from the four factions that have been displayed, which would you like to play as? Uh, the Syrians, please. You're going to go the for... The Grey. The Grey, that's it, yes. I shall go for the Mechs. All right, moving on. The game field. Place the smart device in the center of the table for everyone to see. The app is the center of the solar system. There are eight playing fields around the smart device. Keep a space next to the game field free for the draw pile. You also need a space for the discard field. Planets come in different colors. The number shows the level of respective planet. Level 1, level 2, level 3, and level 4. Place one level 1 planet of each colour on a free playing field. Remove these special 16 cards from for now and place them next to the game field. Uh, do not remove the 20 special cards spaceship. Leave them in the deck. The game objective. Evacuate as many planets of your colour as possible to earn the most victory points. You will receive victory points for the evacuated planet cards and for the spaceships. For evacuated planet cards of other colours, the opponents receive those points. Level 1 planets can be placed on any free playing field. 
You can place a planet on the next highest level on a planet. You can place a planet on the next lowest level of a planet. Any number of planets can be stacked on top of each other. The colour of the planets does not matter. The spaceship is marked with the following symbol, which is a star. You'll clearly identify the spaceship when you have one in your deck. The spaceship can be placed on a level 4 planet. The colour of the planet does not matter. With a spaceship, the entire planet is evacuated and the player gets the entire stack. The active player can play any number of their cards. If the active player cannot or does not want to play a card, they must place all of their cards on the discard field. At the end of their turn, the players make sure their hand has six cards, pulling the top cards from the draw pile. The Syrians make sure they have seven cards at the end of the turn. The turn ends as soon as the active player draws the first card from the draw pile. If there is no card left on the draw pile, all cards in the discard field are shuffled and served as a new draw pile. The pause icon lets you pause the game whilst shuffling. Here we go. Each player draws six cards from the draw pile. So we'll just shuffle these out. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. The Syrians get to draw an additional card. These are your cards, Snow. So you've got a red four, a green two, a blue four, a blue two, a red two, a blue four, and a spaceship. So this is nice. You can determine the amount of rounds within a game. We'll start off with just three rounds, but uh, you can work your way through various star systems which increase the number of rounds. So when you get rather good at it, you might want to have a longer game because of course you'll be playing much, much quicker. This tells us our starting player. And it is the mechs to start. All right. The game ends when the sun explodes and becomes an all-devouring supernova. So I'm going to place a yellow there, a yellow there, and I'm going to discard the rest of my deck. A green to left middle. Yes. A uh, blue to left up and red to right middle. Red to right middle, yep. And uh, then I'm done, I believe. And I'm going to place a free on there. Ah. Nice sound. <laughs> so we've just had a satellite. Uh, go across the screen and it's basically saying press the satellite of your color as soon as it passes you can then take two cards from the draw pile uh three i need to get a four in somewhere there's a four in there these together uh we need a two somewhere let's put a two in there i'm going to discard those three green right bottom and uh, four yellow left up. Done. And blue blue two left bottom. And that's it. Done. Discard. I'm going to play spaceship on the top deck there. I'm going to put a four in there. I'm going to put a three in there with a four in there. I'm going to put a three and a four that's it i'm set <laughs> space shift bottom left yep space shift bottom yep space shift bottom left space shift bottom right satellite okay. <laughs> okay so it's now saying special cards congratulations the first rounds are complete now it's time for more action add the 16 special cards to the draw pile all right here we go so I need to add these in and shuffle them. 
Monkey's shuffling uh, skills are world renowned. <laughs> Funny you should say that, Ian, because when I played this game with a friend, they recognised that I was rubbish at shuffling. <laughs> And they said, how on earth can you do a tabletop painting channel and you can't shuffle? And, oh. I, and I said, well, I can't roll dice either. <laughs> so why is it a surprise? Well, you can ent entertain the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> so long as everybody's happy. So what do we have here? We have new special cards. The Combat Squadron. Uh, the Combat Squadron is marked with the following symbol. It's a minus one. The Combat Squadron can be placed on any planet. The level and colour of the planet do not matter. Remove the topmost planet card and place it on the discard field with the Combat Squadron. The Planet Destroyer. The Planet Destroyer is marked with the following symbol. It's a minus X. The planet destroyer can be placed on any planet. The level and colour of the planet do not matter. Remove all cards from this stack and place them on the discard field along with the planet destroyer. The protective shield. Protective shield is marked with the following symbol, a shield. A protective shield can repel the combat squadron and the planet destroyer. The protective shield can be played immediately by any player once a combat squadron or planet destroyer has been played. The protective shield and the combat squadron or the planet destroyer are placed on the discard field. The tractor beam. The tractor beam is marked with the following symbol, which is a uh, no, I don't know, no access. <laughs> you can't go here. The tractor beam can be used against any other player. It forces them to miss their next turn. Once a player has used the tractor beam, they place it in the discard field. Where we go? A uh, yellow middle up. Yellow middle up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. And two upper right. And yep. on. You now get to evacuate three of these sets. So we just take them up and we'll put them next to your character. Well done. We're gonna put a one down, we're gonna put a one down, we're gonna put a one down, we're gonna put a two down, we're gonna put a three down and I'm going to put the ship down to take those. I will take that set. Uh, bottom left, red two, red three, red four, starship. And right middle, starship. Stop. Right, just in time. That satellite. <laughs> wow, well, here we go. It's a new feature. The active player may not evacuate planets until the end of their turn, but you have actually got to the end of the turn, so that's fine. This is a solar eclipse. All right, so you take these two stacks. Well done. And away I go. So, oh, 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 we've got to move. Uh, let's do that there. Three there. That's a three. Uh, we can put a four on there. Uh, I am going to play a tractor beam, so you get to miss your turn. So I discard those. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I go again. Put the one no. down. I'm going to... <laughs> another tractor beam. You're going to miss another turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's it? Where's a no, I can't do any of those. Oh, a solar storm. Remove the top card from.
from all displayed playing fields and place them on the discard pile. If you look at the app, there is an arrow pointing upwards and an arrow pointing to the diagonal left. There are no cards here, so we ignore that, but we have to remove this card. That's gone. I'm going to do the World Destroyer, and I'm going to destroy all of those worlds. Gone. And I'm going to discard those. One, two, three, four, five, six. What have we got? There's a two. There's another two. There's a spaceship. There's a three. Discard those. Take up those. And pause. Three left middle. Four left middle. Spaceship left middle. Stop. Continuing on. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, disc do it. I'm discarding all of my cards. <laughs> That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah. On the uh, only planet left, yep. planet destroyer. Uh, on a, uh, sh the shooter, the minus one, minus one. Yep, yep. So the first two planets go. Yep. They're done. Okay, you've got blue two, blue four, red two, green three, red three. Yeah. Then I want to do uh, blue two, yellow three, uh, blue four, and that's it. So two, three, and four, and discard. All right. I'm going to do a planet destroyer, take out your top planet. I'm going to do another planet destroyer, take out your next planet. I'm going to play a blue three, yellow four, and I'm going to play the tractor beam so you miss a turn. So I get another go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a blue one, there's a two, uh, there's a three, there's a four. Can't do anything with those. Pause. Place blue one bottom left, place uh, blue two bottom left, place red three bottom left, place green four bottom left, place spaceship bottom left, done. Okay. Right, here we go. I discard my entire deck. So, oh, we've got a solar eclipse. The active player may not evacuate planets until the end of the turn. So you've got to do all your actions and then we evacuate, okay? Here we go. Uh, yeah. Go. Oh, uh, darn. <laughs> um, well, track the beam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. And done. And done, yeah, okay. Spaceship bottom center, spaceship left center, track to beam, done. Yeah, I thought as much. <laughs> so it is the one and one and done, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, so, one and done. <laughs> one one done. and monkey time. There we go, done. Pause. Uh green two, green three. This card. Okay, go on in. Tell me what you want to do. Discard. Okay. <laughs> Done. Done. Pause. All right, so let us continue. Uh, I'm going to just play tractor beam straight away and discard everything. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that blue four. Discard, discard. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. Oh, blue. That's, oh, oh, that's, that's blue. It's you. It's you. <laughs> you 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 would have said satellite, wouldn't you? One, two, three, four. Five, I did. Six. Okay. So the Syrians can take two cards from the draw pile. One, two. You get to the final two. Look at that. And I will shuffle up. So it's my turn, isn't it? Because I played a tractor beam on you. Yeah, your turn. Yeah. So continuing. I'm going to put a four down. I'm going to put a spaceship down. I'm going to take those for me. Got a one down. 
got a two down, and we got a discard, and that's it. Go. Place the green one up left. Place the blue one up center. Uh, place the green one up right. Place the green one center left and then and the blue one center right. Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean uh, the blue one center center down or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. So we got a solar storm. Uh, we get to remove. Oh gosh, the top card and the bottom card, which are your two blue planets, I'm afraid. They are both gone. Ah, uh, well. Ravaged by the solar winds. Uh, okay, what do you want to do before we jump back on in? You've got a ship and you've got all the yellows. Do you want to do anything with those yellows? <laughs> no, 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 no. So, is that over with? Yes? Yeah, discard. Discard, okay. All right, here we go. Put a two down there, put a two down there, put a one here. I really shouldn't have put those twos down. Ah, idiot! <laughs> put a three down there. And we use the planet destroyer. We're just going to blow up all of those planets. Because that's funny. Oh! Can you do any. Well. So the sun has gone supernova. <laughs> I guess that's it. That's it. Bye bye. So that's the game over. So now all players place their remaining cards in the discard. So we've done that. All cards from the playing field are placed on the discard. So every other planet, of course, has been destroyed. All those yellow four four mech. <laughs> Place the red planet cards on the uh, discard field. So we go through our deck. Essentially, it's blues and yellows we keep, and spaceships. So that's all of the reds and greens that we collected. I like this sort of idea of this that we rescued them from their planets and then realized that they were yeah refugees. we did sure we just airlocked them all <laughs> we, got oh. no, we got no room for you guys <laughs> um okay now each player uh, receives all planet cards of their suit color from the other player so i transfer my uh, sorry my blue over to you and you transfer the yellows. All my yellows. All your yellows. You've done. You've done better at collecting yellows than I have. <laughs> okay, over. So that's a sort of you know refugee uh, exchange. So we've done that. Uh, and the players well, now calculate the victory points of the planet cards of their color and their spaceships. Okay. So, that counts for whose refugees are more valuable. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you got? Four, five, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, sixteen. Uh, three starships. So that's going to be thirty-one in total for me. So, blue. How many have you got? Uh, that's ten. Another ten. Another ten. Another ten. Another ten. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a ten there. In fact, I'm trying to work out. Did you actually trigger um, the the supernova? Was this a genocide that you were doing <laughs> on the planets for everybody else? So we got ten. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, <laughs> 77, 78, <laughs> 79. No, there should be no doubt whatsoever. <laughs> uh, Snow is at 79 points and completely and utterly uh, decimated my rescue attempts. 
Well, I mean, well, okay. What did you think, Snow? Did you enjoy it? I can imagine. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it, but to be honest, I'm a bit tired now right. <laughs> from playing. <laughs> Is it taking it out of you? <laughs> yeah, concentration and the hot weather, and uh, but it's been real fun, and I think the game is even better with three or with four players. Yeah, yes. I, I mean, as we we know, being on the channel, um, it's only so far we can take the experience um, being sort of remote like this. If you're sat around the table and you're reacting to the events so that the app's throwing up at you and you're trying to throw down your cards as quickly as possible to gain them. And of course, if you get the tractor beam, it gives you the opportunity to have multiple goes. So you really are pushing for time to try and get pick up your drug cards, sort them through. Yeah, definitely around the table. It's going to be a lot of fun. And who is uh, this, the studio? This Red is Ruby Games? This is Rudy Games. So let's show you. Uh, Rudy. That's it. All right, well, there we go then. So, yes, you know, if you want to uh, call it a night, then thank you so much for uh, for joining on in. That was, uh, that was it's good fun. I, I like it. It's a nice little game. Yeah, I'm good, but it's been real, uh, real nice. Thank you so, so much then. And uh, we'll obviously, we'll catch you again soon. Bye for now then. Bye bye. <laughs> Uh, thank you to Snowyak for taking part. Right then, folks. Thank you so, so much for your time this evening. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow evening from 7 o'clock. But until then, I guess bye for now.